Once you understand how you can add a navigation menu, add active links to it, and add authentication inside your React application, let's take a look at how you can protect this dashboard and this setting route. As you can see, when I'm back to the login, right now I'm not the authorized user, but still I can access this dashboard and this setting page. What I want? I only want you to access this dashboard and this setting page, or you can say the dashboard and the setting routes only when the user is authorized. So let's take a look at how you can create protected routes inside this application. As you know, inside this auth, if you're back to the global.js, inside this auth variable, we have the authorized user status. So if you try to print this auth variable in the console, you will get the current status of the user. So let's suppose if I print this, if I say here console.log auth, open my console, and if I reload the browser, you can see the current authentication status is false. When I click on this login button, now the auth status changed to true. You can notice. Now we have the authorized user. And now I'm going to allow user to access this dashboard and this setting page. So what I'm going to do is, to make protected routes, I'm going to back to the global.js and right down here at the end, just out of this setting, I'm going to create here a function. So I'm going to say here export function, name this function require auth, or you can say require route. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this function. And inside this function, I'm going to get the auth variable. So I'm going to say here constant in the array, I'm going to get auth from auth consumer and now i can use this variable to check the user status now just out of that what i'm going to do is i'm going to call a hook of react router dome which is use location so i'm going to call here comma and say use location now this use location hook is going to allow us to access this url value and we can also change this url using this use location hook. so right down here inside this require auth here i'm going to say constant location is equal to use location we call that hook so this hook is going to return the current location of the project so right from this require auth i'm going to say return if the auth dot auth if it is equal to true then return the true statement otherwise return the false statement inside this true statement right here i'm just going to return all the generals so inside this parenthesis, let me just first call children and call the children right here. And inside this false statement, I'm going to navigate the user to the login page. I'm going to navigate the user to the login page. So here, I'm going to call the navigate component. As you know, we can also use this navigate hook to navigate the user to the login page. But this time, instead of this navigate hook, I'm going to call a component, which is navigate. Now that's upon you instead of using this navigate component you can use this hook as well but to show you how you can use navigate component i'm going to grab and specify that component right inside this require auth so inside this right here i'm going to say navigate and call this component and then i'm going to specify here two property the two property is just like the href attribute which allows the user to navigate to the different location so i'm going to specify double quote specify here login so this is going to redirect the user to the login page we need to call here a property called replace. I'm going to replace the current URL. So we call this property replace. And we're also going to change the state of the current location. So we call here state. And inside this, we call an object and pass path. And this path is going to be the location, this variable, dot path name. So we are going to pass the current path to this state and replace it. That's it. Just out of that. You copy this required auth and you call that inside your app.js right here. And just out of that, you have to make sure that you wrap your component inside this required auth to protect your route. So scroll down. As you know, I want to protect this dashboard and the settings. So right here, I'm going to say require auth. And inside that, I'm going to specify this dashboard, something like this. And don't forget to sell close this component. And do the same for this setting. So here I'm going to call this require auth, something like this. Grab this setting, specify that here, self close it, and get it out of this closing setting. That's it. Let me save the changes. Now when I'm back to the dashboard, you can see I can't navigate to the dashboard. And I'm also can't navigate 
to this setting. This is because currently I'm not the authorized user. But if I click on this login, you can see I can now access this dashboard and this setting. But now what I want, if the user is not authorized, I don't want to show both these tabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up back to this nav component and right here, just out of this login, you can just simply call here an object and right here, you're going to call the auth consumer and call the authentication status. So right up here, you're simply going to call constant in the array, you call auth from auth consumer and when you have this auth, you can then specify that right here. But let me just show you how you can grab the property of this auth right here inside this parenthesis. As you know, to this auth, you have a property called auth. So to get this auth property from this auth, you have to just specify here an object and just specify the auth property. That's it. So now you can access this auth from this auth consumer. Now once I have this auth, let me specify that here. And then here I'm going to say if the auth is true, then return the true statement. Otherwise return nothing. So I'm going to self close the statement. And then inside this, here I'm going to say dashboard and the setting. Something like this. Save the changes. You can see I'm just going to have home and login. But when I click on the login button, now I can have login, dashboard, and setting. Now, because I'm the authorized user, I can access the dashboard and the setting. But if I try to click on this logout button, it's going to remove both these tabs from this navigation menu. And I'm just going to have the login page. And now I'm not the authorized user. So I can't access the dashboard and the setting page. I hope you understand how you can protect your routes using React Router.